Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Oh, can't beat a bit of shaking back. Oh, oh wait, I'll cut that out. <clears throat> Hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> Just a quick video for you today. <coughs> you didn't see anything, did you? You saw nothing. No, I've got to come clean. I am not the vacuum guru you think I am. I'm not perfect. I have many, 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 many flaws and one of them is an addiction to shake and vac. I sniff it daily and if I don't get my regular fix, then I turn into a raging mental case. But it has to be vintage shake and vac from 79 to about 83 I can't be doing with this modern muck. So I've been stockpiling old shake and vac. This is vintage as seen in the original shake and vac advert with that poor lady. That poor lady she inhaled so much of this stuff she is addicted to and she can only have the original scent. She can't have any of these lemons or vanillas that they have nowadays. It had to be just the original scent of Shaken Back. And when I bid on these on eBay, she's the second bidder and we get into terrible bidding wars over this, but it's a problem I'm dealing with, so forgive me. Anyway, <laughs> another special video. This is becoming a bit of a habit and I'm please do not send me loads of requests now because, you know, this, apart from one other, well a couple of others that are in the pipeline to do, and I haven't forgotten you, I'm not mentioning your names, there's a couple of others that have asked for a shout out and I'll do that. This is going to be a little birthday message to a poor little boy. And Daisy wishes you happy birthday too, yes? Anyway, I took pity on this poor child who's called Gary. Gary Anderson. And I'm assuming, Gary, from your surname and from, I can just see your little bit of tartan that you have on your YouTube name. I Maybe that's the Anderson tartan, I don't know, but I took pity on you. I, I wasn't going to do this. I've had a busy day at work, but Gary called out to me and said he'd be very happy if somebody wished him a happy birthday. So happy birthday, Gary. I hope you've had a nice time so far. I don't know what you've been getting up to. I'm assuming you're in Bonnie, Scotland. I don't know. You could be down in Somerset. I'm trying to do a Somerset accent. It doesn't work. But anyway, happy birthday to you. Um, I'm not singing it because I'll have to be. I'll have to pay royalties. Oh no, that's all ended now. <clears throat> I can do it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gary. Happy birthday. To you. There you go, I bet you've never had a nutcase singing happy birthday to you on YouTube before, so happy birthday and uh, enjoy whatever you're doing in Bonnie, Scotland. Yes, I like Scotland, I've been a few times, but uh, it's nithering in Scotland, especially Edinburgh. Where, whatever time of year I go to Edinburgh, I have to have my thermals on because going down that Royal Mile, Princess Street, the wind whistles up into areas that I didn't know existed. For any of you not familiar with Scotland, and hello, I'm talking to our American and Canadian friends and possibly a few Italians and Germans, whoever may be watching. Everything you know about Scotland is true. Um, all the men wear kilts, and they don't wear undergarments underneath, and you can imagine on a blustery day walking down maybe the Royal Mile or um, Princess Street, you do get to see an awful lot. But being so cold, what you get to see isn't very much. If you know what I mean, I'm not going to go into detail. So yes, all the men wear kilts with no undergarments. Um, a lot of them are called jock and have red hair. They eat deep fried Mars bars. They drink scotch whiskey. They dress in tartan. There's a monster called Nessie who lives in Loch Ness. Uh, what else can I say about Scotland? They have something at New Year. Um, Hootenanny is it? Or I don't know. Anyway, it's all true, everything you know about Scotland. And I have a few Scottish Facebook friends, hello, who know I'm only having a little leg pull. I do love Scotland and uh, some of my favourite people come from Scotland. Barbara Dixon, yes, and um, a lot of the great sitcoms and sketch shows from the 80s and 90s. Scotland, Rabsy Nesbitt, Still Game, Naked Video, all that. I lap up Scottish culture. Deacon Blue. 
Danny Wilson, oh, Hue and Cry, all that palaver. Isla St. Clair, loved her in Generation Game. Now most of this is going way over the heads of you young nippers, nipper snappers, whipper snappers, because unless you're over a certain age, you won't know anything I'm talking about. So anyway, that's it, I've done it. I've come clean over my, oop, some came out. I'll have to be vacking that up. 68 pence that cost when it was uh, at spend and save, wherever that is. Cost me a little bit more than 68 pence, but you can't beat the original. Mwah! So, it's uh, happy birthday to, to Gary from uh, Daisy. And Molly's here as well, because I haven't got any, well, I've got a few vacuums out. Come here, Molly. She's on her back. Typical. I think you've got a bit of Scott in you, haven't you, Molly? She's, um, I think she, are you a Scotty Poo? She's a cross. She's a mongrel. You were, you were cast out, weren't you? And we, we took you in out of pity. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, lots of vacuum videos coming up. Now, if you want to mention, and I can't think why you'd want me to say anything to you, but if you do, what I've decided, because this is, you know, it's starting to get a bit silly now. I'm quite happy to do it, but when I make videos, I don't make them all, you know, you see a video twice a week and you think, oh, he's made that video this week, but I don't. I make videos weeks and months in advance sometimes because I have other things to do. Believe it or not, you know, my life doesn't revolve all around vacuums. I'd say about 95% of my life is about vacuums, but that other 5%, I do have other things to do. So. I tend to make the videos in batches, so by the time, you know, the video is scheduled to go, you, I've had a request, I can't do it at this time unless I do a, a special one and I don't often have the time. So, what I'm going to ask, if you, for any reason, want me to say hello to you, mention your name or anything, what I'm going to do in a week is do another video and it'll be like a question and answer thing. So, I'm going to do a little thing and I'm going to ask you the viewers to ask me any questions relating to vacuum cleaners. I will accept questions about other appliances as well, but as long as you can plug it in and um, it's not rude, I'll answer a question about it. So, that'll be a video for next week, a quick video. So, I'd like you, if you want to, put any questions under that video, and if you want me to say hello to you and mention your name, put that as well. And so, in a few weeks, in a future video, when I've got enough questions and shout-outs, I'll do a shout-out video. So hopefully that will keep people happy. Okay? And there's lots and lots and lots of videos coming up for you for the rest of the year and well into next year and whoever knows how long it's going to go on for, as long as I've better my body. I've got this coming up. Not done the test on it yet, I might be doing that tomorrow. But I'm saying it's rubbish. It's a hoover. And I've got this. This came yesterday. <coughs> Needs cleaning up, but look. Ooh, it's a vintage Aquamaster. And another thing. Let's move that. I've got this coming up too. It is a vacuum cleaner. Some of you out there have got one of these. It's very unusual. I can't fault the styling of this. It looks fantastic. It's not very good. Very good at cleaning, but not very good at much else. Anyway, it's a Vax Air Revolve, so that's coming up on my channel, but there's so much coming up, I haven't time to tell you everything. So, that's it. I'm going to have my lunch now, and um, see what the day brings. It's very blustery outside, so I think I'm going to batten down the hatches, and uh, snuggle up on the sofa with my slanket and my dogs, and watch some television. I don't know what, but it'll be something nice. And then I'll go to sleep. What a horrible life. It's disgusting, isn't it? Anyway, someone's got to lounge about, haven't they? But I have been at work, so I do deserve a rest. So, happy birthday, Jerry. Hope you enjoy the day. And hello to everyone else. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. And thanks for all your comments. Providing they're not nasty, and of course, if they are, I'll delete them. Um, but that's it. I'll see you on Friday. Yes. What day are we on? It's Wednesday. I'm doing this live. I'm doing this on the day it's uploaded. I'll just, just to prove this. What day are we on? 
I've no idea what, what day or month, I think it's October. Right, it's Wednesday the 21st of October in the year of our Lord 2015, I think. And it's uh, 12.15. So I'll just get this edited. Well, I won't, no, I won't edit it, I'll just, you know, cobble it together, put it in my computer and upload it to that interweb. So hopefully, um, Gary... I hope I didn't call you Jerry for a minute. Did I call you Jerry earlier on? You are a Gary, aren't you? I know another Gary, but he's with two R's. You're with one. Um, I'm sure I didn't. Apologies if I did. I've been at work. I'm a bit manic. I haven't, you know, chilled out yet. I'll be chilling shortly. Happy birthday, anyway. Um, so, yes. Friday. That was, that's what I was saying. Sorry about this. Friday coming up. There will be a new video at 5pm. I can't remember what it is, but it'll have a vacuum cleaner in it somewhere. I'll either be unboxing one or throwing a load of muck down on the carpet and sucking it up. But um, there'll be something like that happening. And then a new video on Monday. Maybe something on Wednesday. Oh yes, yeah, something next Wednesday I'll do. And then another video Friday. So, um, and that will continue ad nauseum. So, bye for now. And I'll see you on Friday.